Hi, this is your host Sapil Bharatiya and welcome to another episode of Mainframe Matters. We are here at Open Mainframe Summit in Philadelphia and today we have with us Robert Blum, Senior Software Developer at Phoenix Software and you're also a member of the Zoe community. Mm -hmm. Robert, first of all, great to have you on the show. Thank you. Uh, before we get started, uh, tell us a bit about, you know, uh, how are you associated with the, the Zoe community? Well, my company in particular likes to support cutting edge, cutting edge uh, uh, products and uh, development. We always uh, try to have things out before other companies do. We have... Uh, support for, for Armour at 64 and some of our products and other technologies. As soon as uh, IBM has it out and we try to use it, so to be, come up with the, the uh, most optimum solutions uh, for our customers. Perfect. Now tell us a bit about uh, your work on Zoe Desktop or Zoe Desktop itself. Well, Zoe is a technology for allowing people that are not familiar with the mainframe or not trained on the mainframe to be able to use mainframe products without a lot of mainframe training or schooling. And as a result, it's another access point for our products. So I was initially asked to uh, do some Zoe mainframe CLI work uh, and once that was completed, uh, I was asked to put Zoe, to, we have a web app for our eJazz product, and uh, we wanted to make that available on the Zoe desktop because we understand that in some of our customers and in the community in general, they do not have 3270 access or they may have locked down desktops. So as a result, we would like to have our web app show up on the Zoe desktop. And as it turns out, that was relatively simple after a lot of trial and error on my part. Can you talk a bit about, you touched upon that, but what are the benefits of uh, Zoe desktop? Well, having not interviewed any, uh, any users, I'm to a certain extent, I'm speculating here. But one of the things that's important in the community in general are curated desktops, basically situations where people are only allowed certain apps and certain security enclosures, if you will. And as a result, Zoe has a benefit of being able to provide secure access to, to the mainframe in even on a Chromebook, for example, because it just appears, the Zoe desktop only appears in the browser and there's no other access. There's very little app pollution, if you will. That's my, my understanding. You have been associated with the with the, the community of mainframe for a while. Yeah. What advice do you have for new developers who are like trying to dip your, their toes in the mainframe that how they should you know get started with Zoe? Well, I think that the uh, well, I think that migrating your web app to to the Zoe desktop now that I was my presentation is about this. Um, it is actually very easy to do. The documentation for Zoe is extremely thorough, but also lacks beginner access. Uh, that's why I have having my presentation, which basically simplifies it so you can migrate web apps onto the desktop. Um, it, to a certain extent, it depends on whether or not you have vendors, you have, it, well, I guess that's the term, your company is using software like Broadcom stuff or Phoenix software programs. We, we provide REST APIs. As a result, you can actually use them from a web app inside or outside of Zoe. 
Now, you'll, Zoe provides a nice infrastructure for, for building a CLI, for example. Your CLI will allow you to basically discover how, how to access the mainframe by typing, starting with Zoe, then starting with the name of, uh, you'll get a list of, of available products that you can look at. You use the name of that, then tells you some more information, and you go on until you get your instructions for how to use it. And it, it's good for accessing your resources on the, on the host. Um, the desktop, again, the, I think your original question is what the advice is. Um, make sure you have plenty of time to research it because there's a lot of documentation. And the second thing is to make contacts on Slack. Most of the main developers are on Slack and have been very, very responsive. Um, don't hesitate to ask. Um, at the very least, it will help you go from a situation of looking at documentation that is so thorough it doesn't have any beginning options in it to a developer saying, oh, here's a link, here's a link, here's a link. And it makes it a lot easier. So that'd be my best advice. Basically, do your homework, you know, do all that in the system. Yes, yeah. it, it's, it's one of those things. It's like almost any project you'll work on. Once you figured it out, it's easy. It's the figuring out that's the hard part. Robert, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about Zoe Desktop and also those tips that you shared for the, those who want to try it. Uh, that was great. Uh, thank you. And I look forward to talk to you again. Well, thank you.